Imagine a world where the blind can see. Science is making that dream a reality with a breakthrough technology in the form of prosthetic photoreceptors. Like that of bionic vision, blindness caused by retinal degeneration is no longer permanent. Thanks to the advancements in medical technology, this is becoming a reality. The history of visual prosthesis dates back to 1799, when the first understanding of electrical stimulation of human tissues came to light. In 1929, there was a German neurosurgeon named Forster. He was the first to demonstrate electrical stimulation of the visual cortex could lead to the perception of light spot or phosphine by the subject. In a healthy eye, photoreceptors or the specialized cells in the retina called rods and cones capture light and convert it into signals for the brain. This allows us to see the things around us. However, diseases like macular degeneration and retinitis pigmentosa damage these cells, leading to vision loss. Prosthetic photoreceptors are groundbreaking devices designed to restore vision by mimicking the function of natural photoreceptors. These implants, often made from advanced semiconductor materials and are inserted into the retina to work just like the natural cells they replace. The process of restoring vision with prosthetic photoreceptors is highly complex. First, a prosthetic device is implanted in the retina. Once in place, it captures incoming light, converts it into electrical signals, and stimulates the remaining healthy retinal cells. These cells then send visual information to the brain through the optic nerve. Though the vision restored is not perfect, patients can perceive shapes, movement, and contrast drastically improving their quality of life. With this process, a few challenges are still there. The electrical pulses from the photoreceptors stimulate the inner retinal cells. With these implants, the most commonly reported adverse events were hypotony, conjunctival dehiscence, presumed endophthalmitis, and conjunctival erosion. Talking about the success rate of prosthetic photoreceptors, retinal reattachment was seen in all implanted eyes. As of September 30, 2022, visual improvement was noted in 18 eyes, which is about 81.8%. Good graft integration with the surrounding area was seen in 17 eyes, which is 77.3%. Graft retraction was seen in 4 eyes, which is 18.18% and graft loss in one eye, which is about 4.55%. Scientists are continuously working on improving the success rate with photoreceptor implants. Recent innovations have introduced photovoltaic retinal prosthetics that can generate electrical signals from light without needing external power. Researchers are also developing biocompatible materials that reduce the risk of rejection or inflammation. From high-resolution prosthetics to optogenetic approaches, the advancements are remarkable and hold great promise for future treatments. The primary application of prosthetic photoreceptors is in the treatment of degenerative retinal diseases like retinitis pigmentosa and age-related macular degeneration. For patients with advanced stages of these diseases, prosthetic photoreceptors can restore limited vision and improve their ability to navigate the world. These devices may also benefit partially sighted individuals and could potentially expand into applications in augmented reality systems. The retinal prosthesis is of three types. Epiretinal prosthesis, subretinal prosthesis, and suprachoroidal prosthesis. These are defined according to the difference in the locations of the stimulating electrodes. Retinal implants are options for people with severe stages of retinal degenerative diseases now, there are three regulatory-approved retinal prostheses, and as of December 2019, around 500 patients have been implanted globally over the past 15 years. The popular prosthetic photoreceptor Argus II system costs about US$150,000, excluding the cost of implantation surgery and training to learn to use the device. The company Second Sight that used to develop Argus 2 system had its IPO in 2014 and was listed on Nasdaq, but the production and development of the prosthesis was discontinued in 2020.
However, the development work has now been taken over by another company, Cordigent, in 2023. The future of vision restoration is full of exciting potential. With ongoing research into stem cell therapy, gene editing, and the development of even more advanced prosthetic photoreceptors, we're likely just scratching the surface. One day, these advancements may provide a permanent solution to blindness caused by retinal diseases, giving millions of people a new lease of life. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please help us continue covering technological breakthroughs that are changing lives worldwide.